Hey y'all, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Welcome back for another crafty venture. Today I have another Americana card. I am calling this a prim. Stars and stripes. Prim refers to the term primitive and I will talk a little bit more about that as we go and I have a full definition towards the end of the video. And so I hope that you guys kind of like this style, like this card. And yeah, I wish you a happy Independence Day that we just celebrated earlier this week. And this was a video that I had go live on the Whimsy channel and wanted to hear share it here today as well. So I am making this fun vintage slash Americana slash primitive stars and stripes card. No sentiment on it at all, and that's just the way I wanted it. So I start out by using this beautiful vintage wallpaper background stamp, of course, from Whimsy. And it's just beautiful. It's one of my favorite stamps from Whimsy. And it is the only stamp that I use on this entire card. So I have this piece of red scrap paper, and I use some white pigment ink. I believe it, mine is from Brutus Monroe, if I'm not mistaken. And then I have this beautiful white satin pearl embossing powder. Now I use this embossing powder on all of the pieces for this card, and it'll make sense as we go. I had to show the embossing because does it ever get old? It doesn't for me. I mean, it's so satisfying and so pretty. And I love this white satin pearl because it allows the color of the cardstock that you're using it on to shine through, but it still gives that soft white hint, if you will. Now, I use the same on the blue and then on the white panel with the blue ink and the white panel with the red ink. I use those colors of inks, but I still use the same embossing powder. Now here I have the wavy striped edgers <laughs> and then I have the smallest star from the primitive shaker shapes. And of course I just went over to my die cutting machine and I cut everything out the way I wanted it. Now if you all know me you know that I didn't really plan. <laughs> so um, I'm really happy that the stripes line up as good as they do because it could have been um, it could have been a really big mishap. I still would have tried to make it work in some way, but yeah, you see how they're not quite not quite lined up on the ends, but it, it works out for us, so it's not a big deal. So here I'm just kind of auditioning everything, um, trying to get a direction in my head, figure out exactly how many pieces I need. Now this blue piece, of course, you can see that it, it has the most mm, expansive color for any of the pieces that I use. And I like this direction. I kind of had it in my head already, but um, I just wanted to put it together and make sure. So now that I have that direction, then I pull out my vintage photo and I'm giving a little bit of the, the distressing and kind of the wear and tear, if you will, on the edges to make it look old and worn and primitive. I love primitive decor, primitive, it, it's just fun. It's, it's a piece of Americana from a time time in in America that is just it's just kind of I don't know in in some ways it was more wholesome in other ways maybe not so much but in terms of the decor I love it so I have a little bit of vintage photo distressing on every single piece and here I'm gluing all my pieces down to the card panel and I'm making sure that I nestle each one of those stripes real snug and tight up against the next so that there's no gapping and then I come in in just a little bit and I buff off all the ink from the embossed images because I really only want that, um, the vintage photo ink on the cardstock versus the images. So it's just a little emboss resist really is what it turns out to be. So I have everything laid down, everything right where I want it. And you can see that the red on the left and then the white on the right side of the panel, they just don't quite line up. And I knew that I was going to trim it down, so I did. I went over to my uh, my die cut machine again, and this time I used the largest of the sprinkles frames, and then I cut out a really nice edge on that. And I'm just picking off any any kind of stray. You know how sometimes you'll get those little fuzzy pieces when you do die cutting? Had a couple of those. So you can see that I just went in again all around the edges with my vintage photo just to um, add another layer of that vintage primitive Americana look. And then here I'm kind of changing directions with my stars. Just decided that I wanted the stars to kind of intersect the border between the blue 
where the stars go and then the red and white stripes and so I added a fifth star did a little bit more of the vintage photo ink blending on it and then here we go so a reroute so it's the same direction just going a different route <laughs> and then I glue this whole panel onto my card base and it's taken a while to adhere because it's pretty thick the card panel is pretty thick so off screen I actually ended up putting it up under my laptop to hold it in place so if you saw in the beginning I did the distressing on four of the stars so I went back and I did it on the fifth as well so they all are the same and they all look very vintagey and then I have these little triangles of double-sided foam tape I'm lifting every one of these stars up so that was a little bit tedious so I didn't show the whole process I usually don't but that's the only dimension on this card and I'm just I'm just having a good time like it's coming together quite easily so I just wanted to go back and say that this vintage background or vintage wallpaper background like I said in the beginning it's just one of my favorites and I wanted it to have that more vintage look so when you saw me take the towel to the stamp at the very beginning that's because I wanted to lift up some of that ink I didn't want it to be even and you can see that it's not so there are some places especially on the blue panel that have a little more ink a little more embossing than others and it's kind of worn off if you will on some others and so when I was inspecting my card at the end I decided yep we have to have some splatter so I pulled out my Posca pen I've got some black some brown and then I bring in some white as well and I just make these fun splatters all over all over everything and I think it just brings the card together now if you've been stamping for any amount of time and you've done a lot of primitive or vintage or Americana stuff you know that we used to like the little tiny 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 dots and we would call it fly spec in fact I even have a, an old old stamp that's a fly spec stamp and that shows how long I guess that I've been stamping so now if you are unfamiliar the term primitive is defined on the screen I've taken several different different definitions and put them together to make my own I'm definitely a primitive fan and have enjoyed it for many many years so guys this has been Nancy the handy scandy I thank you for joining me for another crafty venture today go ahead and like subscribe comment all the things and until next time I'm out